You know, these days, you can't ask the question of whether the NRA is still a positive force for the gun rights in this country or not without someone inevitably standing up and saying, well, you know, it doesn't matter if they're positive or not, and it doesn't matter if we agree with them or not, we still have to support them because they're our biggest voice. Well, I don't think anyone's questioning whether they're our biggest voice or not. We're questioning about whether that voice is saying the right things and should they be our biggest voice? Do they deserve to be the most prominent Second Amendment organization? Lately, I think that has greatly come into question. The way Wayne LaPierre is running the NRA right now, it is basically just a circus of demagoguery and profiteering. And nothing is more of a perfect example of that than this Dana Loesch character that they hired as a spokesman. This Dana Loesch person is awful. Uh, this is the same woman that came out not too long ago and made a video trying to demonize anyone that's uh, not pro-gun as also being anti-God or somehow unworthy. You know, it was the good God-fearing gun owners versus the godless non-gun owners. And that was disgusting enough. But now she's back and she's trying to divide everyone again. But this time she's not trying to divide us on religion. She's trying to divide us on pretty much everything else. She made this video recently about they are doing this with their education system and they are doing this to our children and they are doing this with their media and we are going to fight back with clenched fists, you know, get violent and uh, we are going to win and we are going to take back our country. You know, it was just full of garbage, divisive, hateful, fear-mongering garbage that isn't going to do anything positive for anybody. And the NRA is more than happy to make this their standpoint, more than happy to promote this out on the internet. This is just disgusting. Like I said, it's a perfect example of the way Wayne LaPierre runs the NRA. This type of divisive rhetoric is not serving anybody. The NRA had a load of support after 2012, which has since declined sharply. If you look at their numbers, they're dropping drastically. That's why they're trying so hard right now to make money in every category they can make and fight off their uh, people that they used to support, like the USCCA. You know, now they won't support them because they think, well, they're taking a piece of our pie. They're taking some of our money. And you're not supposed to be about making just making a big profit. You're supposed to be about fighting a fight. And if the USCCA wanted to make money and and then help support you fight the fight, you should have been all for that, but you're not. You're all about making the money. That's all Wayne LaPierre, and that's horrible. Like I said, they pissed away all the goodwill they had after 2012, and in a climate where we could actually be winning people over just through facts and logic, because we can say, listen, the world we live in, the potential for terrorism, etc., it's good to understand why the Second Amendment is important. And even if you choose not to carry a gun or own weapons, you can understand why it might be good for your neighbor to have them. So, in a time when we could be winning so many converts, Wayne LaPierre and this current NRA, they're more than happy to just divide everyone and alienate anyone that doesn't fit their tiny little mold of what an NRA member should be. And you know something? I personally find it all offensive, especially this Dana Loesch person. I mean, she obviously wasn't hired for her talents or her intelligence. Well, she was hired for her talents, but nothing else. And basically, that's all she is. She is a pair of titties with a mouth saying heinous things that they hope you will ignore if you don't agree with the heinous things just because it's a nice pair of titties to look at. And I don't agree with that at all. It's insulting. It's insulting to gun owners period. Because most of us don't agree with that crap. But, you know, Wayne LaPierre thinks, well, you know, we can send someone out there to say all the heinous things we want to rile up the base and we won't alienate anyone because most gun owners are so stupid that as long as we talk about religion and uh, show them some titties, they'll be happy. They'll be like, woohoo, Jesus and titties, boom, 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 we're happy, I'm on board, I don't even care what you said. You know, that's not true anymore. We are not a bunch of dumb hicks and we can't be lured into following you like that. Porn's free these days. So why would anyone agree with your heinous garbage just because you showed us some titties? Like I say, I think we've gotten to the point where the NRA does more harm than good. The way they are right now, they've gotten worse than ever. After what appears to be a failed coup against Wayne LaPierre in the last elections through questionable means, He's taken even tighter control and spreading his message even further. Now they're buying off social media, trying to get the message changed. Instead of changing the NRA to what people want, they're just trying to change the message to make it look like that's what people want. So they're buying off YouTube channels, and I think that's disgusting. So I'm not for the NRA right now 
at all. Because like I said, I just have to finally say, I can't support them any longer. I want my money going somewhere where it can actually do some good. So instead of giving it to the NRA, this organization that now just seems hell-bent on fighting an endless war for profit based on rhetoric and hatefulness and division, I'm going to start taking that money and giving it to organizations that not only want to win the fight, but they want to win it in the right way so that we can end this war and all live together in this country as one people and understand the importance of the Second Amendment. Okay, I think most of you out there know my son, Caden, but these are his cousins, uh, Cowbell and Farter. So you, they already know, so you can get the hell out of here. So you can walk right there, and then you come right here. He's short, so he's hard to see. This is Farter. This is Cowbell, just so you know. Uh, they wanted to be in a video before they left today, so I thought I'd give them a chance here to say something about themselves. So tell us something about yourself. Are you married? Do you have kids? Do we? No. Yeah. No? How about you? No. Have a girlfriend? No. <sighs> you two I'm seem pretty boring. Dude. Why would you want to be in a video if you ain't got anything to say about yourself? What's what's your best trait? I'm, I'm whatever. Why y'all being so quiet? You're all loud all day long, especially you. I don't know. Shy. Farter. Shy. Here, let me hold Farter up so you can see. Him I'm better. Carter, not Farter. That's what I said. Farter. No, Carter. That's what I said. And he likes farter. Farter. He likes. I said Farter. Farter and cowbell, right? Right. All right. Now get out of it's here. Caleb, you get out of the video. Caleb, that's what I said. Cowbell and Farter. 